We're looking at a linear program for maximizing investment. Zach has up to 50000 to invest in corporate municipal bonds. For corporate bonds, he doesn't want to invest less than 6000 and no more than 32000 For municipal bonds, he doesn't want to invest more than 32942 Corporate bonds earn a simple interest of 8.1, while municipal bonds earn a simple interest of 6.1. So what is the maximum value of his investment after one year? Here we see the feasible region. To generate the feasible region, we plot each one of the structural constraints. We check which half plane is the half plane of solution. And then we find the intersection of all these half planes. The pink area you see is the feasible region for this problem. The blue points that we see now are the corner points. To find its corner point, we must solve the system of the two equations that meet to form its corner point. We will now see an animation of the objective function moving through the graph. It will start from non-feasible, move into the pink area, thus it will be feasible but not optimal, and the last point before it leaves the feasible region will become optimal. Then it will be non-feasible again. not feasible. Here it becomes feasible but not optimal as it enters the feasible region that is still growing. All the points on the line within the feasible region are possible solutions. And here we reach the optimal solution as the last point before we leave the feasible region. You now see the objective function moving away from the feasible region. The investment is getting larger and larger, but it's not an investment I can attain with the $50,000 to start with and the interest rates that my investments are paying. Conclusion Investing $32,000 on corporate bonds, $18,000 in municipal bonds, will bring me a maximum return of $3,690 given the constraints I had, the maximum 50000 and the other constraints we talked about earlier.